So peri peri chicken, we want it spicy, we want it garlicky, we want it lemony. So we're gonna chuck all of that into a blender and make our peri peri marinade. So we're gonna start with three or four spring onions, white and green bits, four cloves of garlic. I've got three red bird's eye chilies here. Um, you don't have to put three in, you can adjust it to your liking, but in they go. Got about a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons of oregano. Got a tablespoon of paprika. About a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of salt. About half a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon of black pepper. We've got the zest of one lemon. We've got a couple of tablespoons of white vinegar. We've got the juice of three lemons. So I'm just gonna juice these in. You want two or three tablespoons of hot sauce. Um, you can use sriracha, you can use cayenne, um, any hot sauce, one of your favorite hot sauces. So go ahead and just chuck a couple of tablespoons of that in. And lastly, you want around 100 ml of olive oil and blend. And this is the consistency we're going for. You see, it's not gone to a fine paste. We've got a few little chunky bits. That's perfect. So now let's show you how we prepare the chicken. Now, why do we spatchcock the chicken? Because the chicken is quite, uh, it's not a very uniform shape. Um, and if you're gonna put this on your barbecue, on your grill, normally takes probably about an hour and a half maybe, um, and you'll find that some parts cook quicker than others. Now when we spatchcock, we kind of flatten the bird out, we make it a kind of more even shape, a more rounded shape. It's gonna result in a more even cook, and it's gonna cook quicker. So um, I'm gonna show you how we spatchcock the chicken ready for the grill. So the way we spatchcock a chicken is just, just as easy as removing the backbone on the chicken and pressing it down. Now, the easiest way to do it would be get yourself some poultry shears, poultry scissors, and then you would just cut from the parson's nose, one side of the backbone, and then you cut your way through, and then again, the other side, cut all the way through, and that's pretty much it. But obviously, not everybody's got some poultry scissors, so we're gonna do it the hard way. We're gonna do it with one of these. So, we're gonna take one big sharp knife, we're gonna locate the backbone, which is normally either side of the parson's nose, and what we're gonna do is just cut down the backbone, just through, until the other end, and that really is that simple. And then again, the other side, make sure you've got a nice, big, heavy, sharp knife, and just crunch through the other side, being careful until you come through the other side. Now this, the backbone, don't throw it away. Um, we're gonna use this to make chicken stock you can't beat making your own chicken stock. So this will go for stock. We'll probably roast it, or cook it at the same time as we cook the chicken, and then we use the leftover carcass and this to make stock. <clears throat> so set that aside, and you'll see that we've removed the backbone, and now all we do is just flip the bird over, like so, and you can hear the crack. We're just gonna push down, flatten that out. And that is it, that's all there is to it. So we've now got a more even shaped bird ready for the grill. When I'm making piri piri chicken, jerk chicken, um, I like to get the marinade into the chicken as much as possible. I like to make some incisions in the chicken to get the flavor in there, but also you get more charred crispy bits. So all we're gonna do is take a sharp knife and we're just gonna run along the legs and then into the breasts. So into a dish with the chicken now we're gonna use this marinade. We're not gonna use all of it. We're gonna save some of this because um, we're gonna brush this over the chicken. But we're gonna start underneath. So just flip that round and we're just gonna pour some of that over the bed. Now you can leave this overnight or you can cook it straight away. I'm gonna cook this straight away. Um, it's still gonna taste absolutely banging whether you marinate it or not overnight. So there's your bird, I'm ready for the grill. So our grill's up to 200 degrees Celsius. We're gonna go ahead, get the chicken in. I'm cooking this in my Kamado Joe Classic. If you're using another grill, just get it up to 200 degrees. And we're gonna be cooking this indirect. So all we're gonna do is just take this chicken, place it on the indirect side or if you're using a Kamado, just place it on the grills with your heat deflectors in, bone side down. And that is it. 
We're gonna pop the lid down and leave it for half an hour before we start applying layers and layers of the marinade. That's my dish of the week, spatchcock piri piri chicken. Let's take a look, see how we've done. So you'll notice, lovely char on there, the leg just comes apart, just like that. You can see, nice and juicy, lovely charred skin. Perfect. So let's slice in, take a look, see how we've done in the breast. Remember we've cooked this, to 70 degrees Celsius, we let it rest, it's come up to temperature to 73. We carve in there and just take a look at how juicy that chicken is. Absolutely perfect. 